Hey you guys, I'm Silver Dyer, Real Yogi, and we are talking about some weird culture vulture shock shit today. So, DJ Vlad. I did not know who this man was. Granted, I don't know a lot about pop culture, but this is one we can sink our spiritual teeth into. DJ Vlad is described as a journalist and as a longtime friend and supporter of the urban and hip hop community. There have been many incidents to point to the opposite. He has seemingly made a career out of disrespectfully poking the bear to the point of there being literal in-studio brawls. So most recently, Marlon Wayans quoted his podcast price. This was like immediately, immediately and shockingly unprofessionally mocked by DJ Vlad. As you'd expect, a back and forth kind of a mud slinging thing has ensued with Vlad just folding in some homophobic accusations as well. Really? Really? Okay. So this is all new to me. I truly had no idea how Hollywood, Hollywood was until I went to the BET Awards in LA a little bit ago. It was shocking. The Good Sisters basically explained like the inner workings of the social mountain Everest of Hollywood. Megan, Megan told me, you are as good as the last movie, the last song, whatever it may be. That's all you're good for. And it better be current. And she basically described pretty medieval social practices, I would say. Everything from rolling up to a club, skipping the line entirely with a band of friends, being swept away to the VIP area with bottle service, right? That would be when her stock was high to waiting in line with everybody else. Now, in the interview I did, they actually edited out my reaction because it was pretty horrific. I honestly had no idea and I swear to God I was like a six-year-old farm kid who never had a television hearing about this. I couldn't believe it. And we talked about it. And I said like what you're basically telling me is that that your worth to Hollywood at least is basically like currency. And she agreed. It's kind of disturbing. Anyway, so here we go. It really is that rank and file in Hollywood. And again, no clue. Very disturbing. Regardless, the same principles are here at play with Waynes and Vlad. Now, knowing this context, I get why it's become so heated between them. So the Waynes podcast price, $40,000 and a little bit of the royalties, like pre-LA, I would have been like, damn, that's a lot of money. Now I'm like, no, no. And not only no, I'm like, I don't know what's real over there. Everything is so transactional. The things that you see like every day and you don't think about it all, they're transactional. It kind of seems like there is money and structure and favors behind every single exchange out there. Even though to someone like me who lives in crusty old Washington DC, can't tell. But that was basically my sum lesson from LA. Megan and Lamai are awesome. LA, kind of brutal. Even the paparazzi have an orchestra, like planned encounters. I'm not really sure of what emerges from a state of organic flow over there, to be honest. All right, but back to Vlad. I think of doctors. I think of the Hippocratic Oath where they, they swear to do no harm. 
And being a self-described journalist, I wonder, well, what's your version of that? Because I don't see it anywhere. He pretty much makes a living out of beige, really. His misdeeds are super plentiful. Um, and if you did take the time to dig on this, I promise you, you will experience at least one brief but potent WTF moment. And this is a problem with the entire situation. This really is the tale as old as time. It's the, it's the Disney antidote, if you will. Sadly, we already know Vlad will probably emerge like a shiny penny. He has a huge following, which by the way, because he has a huge following, that also means he makes a lot of people a lot of money. So even with Vlad's seeming lack of morality and his enjoyment of angering and demeaning people, when has that ever mattered? My wish upon a star is that anyone with a platform will use it to foster harmony, comfort, or inspiration, or just about anything else but mudslinging, right? I don't think that's too much to ask. I believe every one of us are inherently good at our cores. We've all gone through trauma, but pull up your panties and get to it. We can still be good people through the trauma, right? There's an awesome old saying, begin within. I can't change you, but I can change me. And my promise to you, I will never stop trying to improve, to learn, to pass along the tremendously painful and absurd lessons I've learned. Always always be learning and my greatest hope is to always be teaching the next time you encounter someone like a vlad but take the high road it's never gonna f you and for god's sake can we like get out of this homophobia already it's 2024 anyway we've got awesome content coming up subscribe stick around can't wait to see you.